Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Bikiribox12 here, with another Realm of the Mad God guide video. I apologize for being kind of off the grid for around two weeks now. Uh, just been, there's been a lot of work. School's coming to an end. Gotta study, gotta read, gotta, a lot of stuff I gotta do. So I worked hard to dish out this video for you guys, so hopefully you enjoy. Today, we are looking at the Helm of the Juggernaut versus the Great General Helm. Jug versus G-Gen. I would have to say that besides Oreo and G-Cookie, this is the most common swap-out ability pair in Realm. Without a doubt. These two items are used in conjunction with each other more than any others, besides maybe Oreo and G-Cookie, like I said. And there's a good reason for that. The warrior can be defined as one word, Berserk, and that's precisely what his special ability is using the helmet. With G-Gen, you can go Berserk for six seconds, the duration goes up with the tiers, and what Berserk does is your attack speed, your dexterity, is increased for a short duration. We aren't sure on the exact increase, it could be doubled, it could be 50%, we don't know if you have an answer to that question, please post in the comments some forums online where we can find it, that would be greatly appreciated. And the other effect is speedy. Now there was a huge argument about this, how much speed and dex was given to the warrior upon buff on my warrior guide video. And guys, if you know the answer, please tell us, but I always thought that it was doubling your speed. If you have otherwise to say, post in the comments, but we're just going to go with doubling your speed. So with the fact in mind that you can double your speed, so to speak, with G-Gen, that already tells you that it is a great rushing utensil. Use that item whenever you want to rush a dungeon, maybe rush to Godlands, rush to an event, make sure that you're the first one there. It's great at Penaracts if you want to get to all five before everybody else. G-Gen's a great choice for that. And plus, you're getting attack speed. Your DPS is off the charts. It's great. Back in the day, the party effect of G-Gen was so useful, party effect meaning that people around you also get the attack speed buff, because you could clear things a whole lot faster, you could make people get their damage in too. It's a very generous item. You're giving other people the chance to do damage that maybe they couldn't usually get. Nowadays, people are a little bit more selfish, and they don't want to buff other people, so maybe they buff whenever they're away from people, which I have done, actually, because everybody has good DPS nowadays. You got like 16 warriors in every single wine cellar, 14 knights, and then your rogues, and... Uh. And to top it off, the G-Gen also gives you plus 10 defense, 2 vit, and 2 whiz, which is incredibly helpful, and I really wish that the paladins got some kind of def buff, but that's just me. So how do you top that? Put an item like G-Gen on a character that already has incredible DPS, make him super duper fast, make him even stronger than before, how do you top that? W what do you do? Step one, give him an effect that makes him freaking invincible, i.e. the Juggernaut. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, Juggernaut! <laughs> Woo! Alright! Man, what a guy. What a guy. The Helm of the Juggernaut, unlike G-Gen, gives you plus 5 speed rather than 2 Vit and Wiz. So it's kind of ironic in a way. The helmet that gives you the speed buff doesn't actually give you any speed. Rather, the other helmet gives you a speed bonus instead of a buff. Kind of weird, but fun fact, cool, it's nice. And you still get 10 def from the helmet, which is good because def is great. And the effect of the Juggernaut Helm doubles your def once again. Those facts are kind of on a whim. I didn't actually read that somewhere, but that's what I believe. You double your def. You have more def than a knight now for four seconds, but it's enough. Great way to tank event gods. You become a juggernaut. Full on, this is a really good item. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is one of the greatest items in the game. Now, I know that that's debatable, but that's what I believe. During UT Weekend, this was one of the highly sought after items. Going for like 10 life. I mean, that's like how much a Ray Katana went, and that's that, that's not even an obtainable item. The Juggernaut is that good. So, which one's better? Which one would I have to pick to keep with me if I had to choose between G-Gen or Jug? I choose Juggernaut. Because there's so much more capability with Jug. Yeah, you can't rush, but I, I don't care. Juggernaut gives you double death. You can survive things that you couldn't usually survive. And the plus 5 speed gives you more rushing capability than before. Some people could argue that G-Gen is better, you know, you can become more wispy and run around and they like the speedy buff. It's a preference thing. 
If you want to tank, you can tank. If you want to be fast, go fast. This isn't something that I can tell you, but I think that the Juggernaut helmet is better. I mean, there's a reason that it's UT. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something, and hopefully even I learned something. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See you. Yeah.